to what's coming your way in love and let's see the energies you still have to deal with whatever you pull from the past so yeah so let me see perfect let's see the bottom of the deck it was the the hermit that wanted to come out so i'm going to take it and you know this deck i don't read it in reverse it's actually the psychic tarot so bottom of the deck the world and the hermit we are now wiser about an ending we are embracing the lessons because the hermit is about um lessons from a situation from the past and finally we see the benefit right happy endings of some of a, of a situation or happy endings for something that was um a lesson actually so let's see what this is this is also this is also thank god this is over because now i know better right um with the hermit and the world and this is also for some of you we'll see with the energies but that that is a message for somebody like in, you know what you need to end this you need to end this you need to see the uh, you know to shine a light on a situation and just um kill it but you know what i mean right so cancer past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies let's see current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies okay you get three and the possible outcome for the end of March. It's not yet the last week of March, but we are uh, going towards. And two. Bottom of the deck, four of cups. Oh yeah. You are really guided to heal a situation, end it, turn your back, learn the lesson and heal the whole shebang. We'll see. So, um, Cancer, past energies on your side. Oh my God, that was a lot of love and that was a lot of power moment, right? Uh, we do have the Two of Cups. We had a strong bond with, with somebody. Some of you might have had children with. We do have a, a, a son in this um, card. So it was a very strong bond. And then we had to rebuild the bond, right? That was a boom. It is on your side and because it's paired with so much love, I tend to believe that somebody might have abandoned you, um, you know, um, kind of through a tower moment upon the relationship and then you had to deal with. I'm not sure you are 100% healed because bottom of the deck is the overall energy. The universe is kind of acknowledging you still have some um, healing to do here. And we still have some lessons um, to learn from it, from this before we let go. But you are actually guided. That is a very clear message for somebody. In order to heal, you know, you need to turn your back. You need to pay attention to what's important. And this might not be. It's just a bump in the road or maybe a lesson, you know, um, on your great journey towards whatever is uh, written and whatever you want to build with the universe, right? I'm a big believer in co-constructing with the universe, but again, it's a whole philosophy, um, spiritual philosophy on that, so um, not the time today. Anyways, the person you are dealing with, um, Cancer, well, on their side, they do have the Four of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, so if your question was or is, um, if they believed in this commitment, yes, they did. Probably you lived with this person, Four of Wands, of course, is one of my marriage cards too, um, after the Hierophant, but this is also, um, so the solid commitment was there, and they felt committed to you, and then the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> it's kind of a discrepancy of how they felt versus how they behaved. I somehow feel that you received little from them because Ace of Pentacles is a very uh, small energy. It has potential, of course, a lot of actually. Um, it is like the growing energy, um, Ace of Pentacles. It's very um, rooted in the every, everyday life and it is connected to house and home. That's why I believe that maybe you lived with this person under the same roof. Maybe you bought a house uh, because we are seeing money in home. Um, so maybe you bought a house together or there was this form of um, 
mutual investment or a joint investment um, in something. But again, what I want to say probably for you, it felt that they did too little about, but for them, it was their um, manifestation of commitment, Ace of Pentacles. This is all that they got, they've got. Um, and they try to strengthen bonds and it does look like they um, somehow did their best. Um, however, you saw this, you know. Um, well, Cancer, the energy between the two of you, Five of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, right? This is all about um, challenging times coming over you. And probably both of you decided to separate in some way. You have the single card between the two of you. Nine of Pentacles is the in love readings and then the Five of Wands. That was probably for some of you conflict, maybe internal conflict. Maybe you didn't know. Maybe you didn't agree on the terms. And um, somehow that is something about a home that went wrong. The tower moment is a house uh, being burned down, right? It's a symbol of a life being destroyed, being uh, somehow changed fundamentally changed and we have pentacles so i kind of feel that i'm picking up the energy of somebody who had either a home to lose um money a down payment of some sort something related to financial security and stability and it kind of hit hard while we were still in love with them and it's interesting cancer because on their side there is a loving energy on your side is also loving energy but probably then life happened and uh, we found ourselves rebuilding actually uh, something that was destroyed and i feel right now um, with the overall energy it's such a deep energy of personal development um, the hermit is an energy of introspection um, of deep reflection is the soul journey is the light that you need to shine on whatever is happening around you and in regards to this connection and I do love the star, you know, after the sun, the star is another energy that I love with the full. But the star has something about alignment and spirituality and approach to life and approach to any kind of situation from a place of awareness, right? Um, of, a, of, of the universe and its work in um, your life, in their life, and also divine guidance and a wish fulfillment. So... Um, it's deeper than that, right? So, um, and it's combined with our own wisdom from the hermit. So it's a beautiful energy of a soul journey happening right now. Uh, for you, it's a beautiful energy also of endings, but endings in the way that things are supposed to end. Um, and healing. I just love the healing card. The star card, of course. My, might be an Aquarius. You are dealing with Virgo so far. And that's about it. Well, where are we right now, Cancer? And I am a little bit concerned. Because we do have the two of swords. This is the energy of being blindfolded. And the intuition card shows up here. So, all that to say that is in regards to this situation, you are not listening to your small voice, right? You do have refusing to see and listen. High Priestess, of course, this is your energy. Pisces, Cancer, might be another water sign you are dealing with. But um, we are so focusing on one thing. That's the Two of Swords. Being blindfolded in self-protection mode and thinking and overthinking one aspect. While your intuition is kind of screaming. There are 10,000 um, other aspects in this situation that we kind of need to look at, right? Um... Of course, it is about the third eye chakra, but that's that's next level. For now, it's I, I feel that we are um, maybe going round and round in your head, trying to make a decision, and it's kind of, you know, we don't know which way to go in the universe. For some of you, it's guiding, it's guiding you. Listen to your intuition. You know the answer. You, you only have to point it out um, because you know what to do. And again, we we go back to the overall energy who says so clearly you know you have the answer it is within you um you've learned the lesson so now let it guide you um out of this situation because we are not um yet out you know so now the other person right now um we do have six of swords healing begins so they are in healing mode just like you and we do have um 
the chariot and this is your energy but this i i feel that they are um i don't want to say walking away but that is this energy of wanting peace of mind and doing something about um it is an energy of moving on it is an energy of uh, they keep going i'm you know um but there is a beautiful purpose behind it it's like you usually the chariot is like let me be break free sorry let me be whatever i want to be and please do not put um restrictions on me you know it's like kind of the wild card and the wild horse in a way but it's paired with the six of swords so it's that energy of i need to run somewhere to finally bring myself in balance and um quiet my mind they need peace i i, I don't know if, if it ended in like real challenging times but this person is like um they really need their peace of mind and get themselves back in balance and a form of control and of course they go through that duality of the of the chariot um if you remember the traditional tarot that is a white horse and the black horse right so within themselves that is the, that duality and that confusion that they need to figure out but mainly it is um their ability getting back their ability to think straight kind of energy now mutual energy is between you and this person you do have aries so you might be dealing with an aries or an aries stands between you and this person and because of it you might be at crossroads and six of wands it's the energy of charging forward no matter what so that is somehow a message for somebody if that is an Aries between you and this person this is why we are apart for some of you that is a beautiful energy of both of you wanting to take control over the situation but it's also having a plan organizing to make a choice um I don't think that is a final choice here cancer between you and this person especially if you separated and both of you you are single right now um, and at crossroads it's we don't have a final choice but we are organizing to get one you know maybe this is their energy um, you know because they seem to be you know action oriented while on your side it's more of um, you know discovering how to deal with the tower moment this is how the energy feels um, but there is this need to regroup that's the emperor in the middle of the reading it's like you know what no i'm gonna really focus on what's important you know it and they know it it does look like they are making more um concrete gesture to gestures to uh to acquire that form of control but of course right you can swap um and choose whatever uh, resonates with you of course um so let's see the outcome we do have the tower again swear to god cancer what in the world we are rebuilding we are absolutely rebuilding and i love the combination of cards maybe the such that yes you are involved with you are connecting with and we are simply rebuilding you know putting your life um back up and temperance is about compromise temperance is about healing is about balance uh it's about being patient uh it's about break by break by break right rebuilding a life is not an easy um you know task to do on the contrary it requires a lot of patience and i feel somebody here is really guided to be wise about it to be smart but how can we rebuild if we don't like let, let go of the past and i feel we every time we get right you know that by now every time we get major arcana and cancer we get many right on your side we have the tower two of pentacles we got for uh, the end of march two more uh, two repeat energies um the tower and the temperance and then the healing card and then another th so that is that is a strong message for somebody and it is we know it's a construction site we know right we know that that was a beautiful love that is that was a beautiful bond and now we are um you know in construction mode um picking up the pieces but we cannot rebuild something if we don't let go and you do have the world um so so some closure some endings some conversations um some understanding some form of control 
um, some form of truth that has to come out and a sense of victoriously turning the page. Now, the person you are dealing with, again, this confirmation that they are moving on, but it's, um, they move on while still looking back. We do have the Eight of Cups and we do have the Hangman. So they are still, um, you know, looking at the past, observing you, stalking you, making sure they know what you're doing. It comes from a place of um, emotions with the Five of Cups, comes from a place of missing you, starting to explore responsibility, guilt, their fair share in this situation. Um, they are trying to change their focus, right? This is, but kind of in, in the overall energy, the destiny is calling them someplace else, but they are still attached to the past and whatever you shared. And again, they are still observing you while moving on in their way with their emotions. Again, a lot of cups. They are still observing and trying to understand you and your perspective, trying to be wise about it. And it's also some illumination with the hangman. So <clears throat> they are a little bit journeying just like you, I would say. Um, and um, again, maybe more proactive, but I feel that you somehow you get the heavy load of this separation. I mean, twice the tower, um, I'm sure they broke you in um, a million pieces. And we find the strength and we find the balance and we find the compromise and we take the high road. That's a temperance, right? We take the high road. So just saying. Mutual energies between you and this person. We do have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, commitment and the Eight of Wands. It's interesting because both of you are walking in opposite direction and yet the energy between the two of you is one of marriage and one of success and growth. So this connection is not over, still has potential, but probably this is just, probably this is uh, that happened like not long ago. And this is why we get to twice the tower moment. So probably you are still in it or I'm picking up the energy of somebody right in the midst of a, of a mess actually uh, with the house down in flame and um, and the other person is like they keep going for their own sanity this is how it feels on their side you know um, they walk away because they need to change their focus they move because they need to heal so it's like running honestly and this can very well be your energy somebody is running for their dear life while the other person is picking up the pieces. Again, the tower is in regards to a house, to a home. Again, I don't know, down in flame, maybe we don't have a roof over uh, our head, Cancer. I don't know how, but somebody is like in that energy of, I need peace of mind, I need to breathe, I need a plan, I need to organize, I need to keep walking. While on your side, it's like, okay, how can I rebuild? while still being in balance and the universe says you haven't finished the cycle just yet and it's in your power and it's in your power of the mind plus the universe guiding you that you'll be able to achieve that you know um and it is no i i was about to say something kind of um but I, w I was about to say it's simple no it's not you know no it's not not in a um I'm, I don't know why. Ah, because it's complicated and your situation is one. And probably it's in regards to a marriage. That's why that's why we get the marriage card, but then it's paired with the Eight of Wands. So that is potential. But somebody maybe is running uh, afraid and, and it's like, you know, needing that time alone and on your side is more like, I have to rebuild. I have to pick up the pieces. So... I would say we are not on the same page, um, Cancer, and it's kind of important, you know, to understand or or feel those kind of things, right? Um, energetically, if we vibe at the same level, you know, so it's very important. This is how we see potential. This is how we um, we make that voice inside of us, you know, talk to us and and uh, and tell us how it feels. So, um, just some food for thought for some of you. Um, Cancer, let's ask for some guidance here. Let's see what we need to do. 
surrender, surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strength, attractiveness, and power. So the emperor right in the middle of the reading actually is a piece of advice, right? Because the, um, you know, the um, Aries is the house of I or me, of myself, right? So maybe that is something there, some self-esteem that we need to bring back and, um, and power and strength and healing and endings and wisdom we need to dig deep and find you know all this because maybe you know when we uh, rebuild and we are more focused on rebuilding and we don't listen to that voice you know and we are focused on the task and putting break by break by break instead of you know that is that phase of planning and preparation and that is a phase of understanding so maybe this is kind of um a reminder, I don't know. What do you think? A reminder to work on yourself before we rebuild something that will um, be our vision or it will reflect who we are after this challenge. So I'm just saying, or after this cycle. An idea. And why compare yourself with other people? We are all unique. Um, cancer. Surrender to your full power. Again, that is, it's it's like the universe reminding you you have twice kind of the same message your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small i don't know it's kind of the universe reminding somebody why do you feel weak why do you think you cannot make it why you don't play the big game and you um you know you are okay with crumbs or stuff stuff like that you know why do you play it small? This is your time. This is your life. This is your um, new cycle, right? Why do you think you can't make it? You know? I don't know. So, some food for thought. And I just love this. So listen to your body's message. It says surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's message about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. That's exactly the energy right now. We are not listening to our intuition just yet. We are refusing to see something. Maybe we are not listening. Maybe we are not listening to the people involved or there is something that we are not paying attention to. And we need to make sure we do actually and play the big game um and we do have surrender worry make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life when worries arise arise breathe them out of your body focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always no reason no reasons to worry actually or no reason to worry this is what i'm hearing right if you don't compare with other people, if you play the big game, your true self game. If you listen to your intuition, you have no reasons to worry, actually. Um, I am so sorry to see that Cancer and I know it's, I mean, twice the tower moment must be a mess. Uh, and I do hope you get professional help you know this the star is also about counseling right so for some of you there is a message there and um because we might need a couple of counselors right if we are rebuilding completely a life we kind of need that and we need to have friends and family right people who unconditionally love you and support you through this um because we absolutely love the bastard or the bitch. Two of cups is like, right, the whole, um, a strong bond. Um, Cancer, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.